some oatmeal, uh, oatmeal banana, and a little bit of cinnamon uh, cookies. But I'm just like prepping the dough, and I'm following this YouTube recipe. It looks so good. I've never had oatmeal, so hopefully it tastes good. But uh, right now, I'm just flattening it all out, making sure it's all in there. And now I'm gonna let it sit for 20 minutes to make sure that the rolled out oats absorb all of the um all of the banana uh so yeah i'm hoping i like this it, the recipe also calls for chocolate chip um chocolate chips in it but i don't like chocolate i know her not would love chocolate but if i make this and try it i don't like it in the future i'll make it for him with chocolate chips but yeah i'm gonna set my timer it's 1 34 so in 20 minutes i'll throw them in the oven so we're gonna just sit here Yay. all right guys so i totally forgot to show myself um putting making the cookies until you know just putting them together uh so let me show you what they look like this is pretty much what they look like um the recipe says that they don't really they don't grow at like your traditional cookies do once placed in the um, oven so they should stay this size and not like connect to each other since they're pretty close um so yeah i'm gonna throw this in the oven for i think the recipe calls 15 minutes and then i'm gonna let them sit and hopefully they turn out okay hopefully they're yummy i'm very picky so if I don't like them, at least I hope Hernan likes them. Uh, and then I'm just waiting for Hernan to go to, well, he already went to his mom's house to get some Mexican cheese because it's like two o'clock and I'm just eating now. I didn't have anything for breakfast other than cucumbers. Um, and I wanna have some enfrijoladas, which is a Mexican dish. Um, I wanna have some of that and then later on I'll work on dinner. Dinner should be easy, it's another, a Pinterest recipe I found with some shrimp and broccoli just thrown in foil and you throw it into the oven So I'm really excited to try that um, But yeah, other than that, we're just gonna hang out. We try to go ahead and do laundry, but all of the Everything's occupied. So we got to wait guys it's later in the day let me close this as i was saying just got out of the shower it's 8 11 today i've had a very let me send you up a very lazy um sunday uh lazy but productive I did a lot of cooking. I made some cookies for Hernan. I don't even know if I showed you guys the end product, but I threw them in the fridge. Let me show you what they look like. Um, so like I said, it was the oatmeal, I mean the banana and oats recipe. That's the bottom, they got burnt on the bottom. But this is what the top looked like. Uh, Hernan loved them. I tried them, they were too sweet. I think the banana I used was way too ripe so next time i'm just gonna try to use a regular non-ripe banana uh but he loves them so i'm just gonna store them in the fridge and he'll eat them you know throughout the week i have a little salad here that i'm actually gonna wrap with some foil because that's gonna be our lunch for tomorrow i think i might take that and something else i'm pretty upset because i forgot to buy and the hot cheetos so i'm probably gonna buy some at work tomorrow but this salad i'm gonna also throw in quinoa um you guys saw the cucumbers in there i'm gonna throw quinoa chicken and avocado probably is what mainly it's gonna go in there uh let's see what else yeah that's pretty much it that's all i made oh and i made i found a recipe on pinterest basically you just marinate um shrimp with 
I think, what was it? It was oil and garlic. He let it marinate for, I guess, a few hours, but I didn't read the marinate part. So I just let it sit for like 30 minutes and then I started cooking. But you basically let it marinate and then you add the more garlic, butter, and lime juice and red pepper flakes. And you just uh, throw it all together in a foil and throw it into the oven. It was... <laughs> you guys were falling into the sink. It was pretty delicious. Uh, Hernan said that that was by far like his favorite meal that I've cooked. So it was a success. And then I also was doing like a bunch of research on <laughs> why my succulent was dying. Um, this is from Trader Joe's. Oh, I think I just broke another one. And I really don't know why it's dying. So I decided to go on its website, Trader Joe's website that um, you know, tells you how to properly care for these different types of um, plants. So I learned that the succulent, you basically, what was the, what was the phrase it used? You, you water from the bottom up. So I have to take out the plastic that holds the soil and the plant from that metal container, like the metal pan that you guys saw. I take it out and then I put like, um, I forgot how much water into it, but you put the water into the pan and then you put the plastic that holds the soil back into the pan and that's how you water the plant, if that makes sense. Um, and then this one, and oh, and you you, wa you water it like every two to three weeks. So I was probably over watering. So after today, I'm not going to water it again. And then this one, uh, I guess it's the same con concept. I watered it yesterday, so I'm not going to water it again. Or maybe I will. The, it's pretty dry. It says moderately dry soil. Mm. Hmm. Oh, maybe I'll walk. <laughs> my lunch break this Monday has gone by so quick um, why am I so bright hold on all right so like I said it's Monday I'm on my lunch break I ate in the office just because I had a quinoa salad that I brought from home and I knew if I ate quinoa in here I would make a mess I just always make a mess when it comes to quinoa but it was delicious I'm trying to eat healthy I'm trying to always bring a salad or just something healthy so now I'm gonna not be healthy and have some flaming hot Cheetos I'm probably gonna play some YouTube videos and just enjoy the rest of my lunch um, other than that um, I'll probably catch up with you guys on the ride home just because I want to enjoy my lunch it's 8 40 at the moment um we're about to get hit with a tropical storm so i'm gonna get my my makeup off wash my face just in case we lose power and we have all the air conditionings in the house like the wall units going um just in case we do lose um 
electricity at least the house will stay cold for somewhat of a period of a long period um but anyways i am going to wash my face put my hair up uh i think i've shown you guys my products i'm gonna use the avino um daily scrub after that i will be using do you hear the thunder after that i will probably be using this um the watermelon overnight face mask to put on my face just because i've been trying to get in the habit of wearing a mask at least three times a week i want to get the clinique clay mask so that's definitely on my list but for now this one is awesome um and then to moisturize i'm really liking the trader joe's um face lotion i think i've shown it to you guys before i just think it's a little bit overpriced for the size that they give you uh, i'm not even going to guess at the price but i do remember thinking it was on the pricey side when i picked it up so this might be the only time i get this particular item and then i like to finish it off actually before i even put the overnight uh, mask i like to finish it, finish it off with this rose water facial toner so and that's what we're gonna do and then i've been just studying trying to get some of my notes down in my notebook um it's currently 8 40 so i'm probably gonna wash my face and try to get some studying done till um probably 10 and then get to bed um but that's the plan for now i'm still looking a little bit dark we're gonna try to see if we can go kayaking again this upcoming weekend depending on the weather just because it's going to be raining a lot due to the storm, so everything's up in the air right now, but we will see. <laughs>